I am riding to all 852 quick trip locations throughout the Midwest on my motorcycle. So with the time that I do have left, I'm gonna focus on what I can do. And that should be completing all of the Wisconsin ones. Heck yeah, we're back in business. Oh, God, I'm ready to go. It's like almost nine o'clock in the morning and I feel behind, but what can you do when you had to sit and wait for pretty much a full day? Thank you, Great River, Harley Davidson. It's been awesome. Really, really appreciate it. God. All right. Bike. Let's get through the next five days. Okay? No problems. No nothing. Let's get through this, please. Whew. I feel better. I feel much, much better. <laughs> Give you a little rundown of what happened. I finished at the hotel in the morning. Got some um, breakfast because I had interviews scheduled here at the headquarters at 10 o'clock. So I was like, all right, I got to stick around. I'm just going to do some riding around the rest of the city that I didn't accomplish the night before and I pulled it out of the parking like motorcycle parking area at the hotel brought it up to the front because it was raining I was like all right I'm just gonna load it up there and we'll then we'll be on our way well after I first initially turned it on and turned it off it would not would not start again and I thought, okay, this is, it's gotta be a battery issue. I was frantic. I was like, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what else to do. So I reached out to my like Pan Am contacts just to see if they knew anything of what could help diagnose it. And then I reached out to the Quick Chair PR team just to let them know, hey, I'm kind of stuck. I can't, I don't know if I'm gonna be there at this point in time. Well, they brought an individual over to help jumpstart the bike which did work it's not ideal guys I understand Great River Harley Davidson reached out to me via Instagram just said hey if you're in the area love for you to stop by like sweet okay if I get a chance I will <laughs> then come to find out that morning I'm having these problems I instantly reached out to them and this is before they actually had operational hours like they didn't open until like 9 or 10 something like that I messaged them. I was like, if there's any way one of your service guys can call me just to help diagnose something, that would be great. Immediately, the owner calls me and says, hey, here's my, like, what, bring it in. This is when the techs are in. Let's get this figured out. Brought it, like, so I jump started it. Got it to on. I didn't have any display, nothing like that, but I could actually run the bike. Thankfully, like my hotel is literally right across the street from the dealership. Like in a perfect world, I was this close to everything. So I brought the bike limping into the service department and they just took it and tried to diagnose what I thought was a battery issue. Did um, all of my interviews. I actually was lent one of their uh, new 2023 maybe it's a 2022 bikes so they let me have the bike for the afternoon um, and I was able to get some of the PR obligations that I had done on a different bike so it was the, the bright yellow Pan Am with nothing no bags no nothing on it perhaps she'll see you next time we meet the central Wisconsin woman trying to visit well, perhaps she'll see you next time when we meet the central Wisconsin woman trying to visit all 503 quick trip stores in the state in just 11 days. A Whit Meza is seven days into her motorbike trip today, stopping at company headquarters here in La Crosse. She's aiming to average 77 stores a day over the course of the trip and one perk. She's been getting all her meals, drinks and snacks from quick trip while also documenting her journey by taking pictures of her receipts and mileage, posting them to her Instagram page. 
just being in parts of the state that I have not been to before and places that I wouldn't have really been on top of my list to do so, that it's got me seeing a lot of these small towns that make me happy that I live here in the state. Now she has most of the southern half of the state complete, heading up north for this final stretch. You can follow along by following at Whitmeza on Getting Instagram. some of them accomplished. So I got 20 of them yesterday, which is day six. And now we're on to day seven. And thankfully I did all of these ones already yesterday. Like I took a five hour ride and I put like 200 miles on the new bike. And I was like, I hope this is okay. Still kept it below the RPMs because of breaking in a new engine for that bike. But I was very grateful for that opportunity for just to feel somewhat accomplished. Brought the bike back literally 15 minutes before they closed. <laughs> and they were kind enough to just uh, provide transportation back to the hotel, even though I probably could have walked. But brought me back to the hotel and the rest of the evening I like stewed because I was like, I should be riding right now. I hate that feeling that I'm sitting here and it's not raining anymore and it's beautiful weather outside to be able to do this. So I had the chance to just mull it over, go through my route again, make sure I'm good, and then imported it all under my Garmin, have it all ready to go. So I feel like I needed that rest more than what I realized, which is crazy because I've just been going nonstop consistently. I didn't realize how much probably my body needed that rest after what I've been trying to push through for the last five days that it was good for me to slow down a bit because I feel better way better now I am over halfway through I have done 287 quick trip Wisconsin stores if I count the Iowa, Iowa and Illinois ones, I've done just over 50 of them, but we're not going to include them for this challenge now going forward because I'm only doing Wisconsin based ones. So I have about 217 left to go. And if you cut the state pretty much in the middle of it, I just have the upper half of Wisconsin to accomplish. Done everything else on the bottom. Like there's no other ones that I've missed and I need to go back to get because I will not be that person to just fly through just one of them and completely disregard it. Like if it's not operational anymore, I am not getting a photo. So there might be little dots on my spot walla that are look like they're missed, but they're not. You can see that I rode through them, but there's no reason to take a picture. I can't get a gas receipt, nothing because it, it's not working. <laughs> they're not, they're not operational anymore, but I have, five more days to get this done and I'm feeling a little bit of pressure just because of how much I still have to accomplish. Now that I know kind of my new timing, I like I had wrote down the ex like the actual mileage timing, but that I took into consideration it takes three, two to three minutes, maybe more depending on if I have to go to the bathroom or I have to go inside to get a receipt or get some food that's going to factor into it so i factored in a little bit more generous timing on my routing plan today and i feel comfortable even with those extra hours added on hours literally because if i do 60 to 70 stops a day and it takes me two to three minutes to take that times each other like it's over two hours i have extra time just at the pumps or at the stores but I'm still just as obsessed with this bike, no matter the hiccups, because it's a, it's a new, it's a new model, it's a new engine. Like there's gonna be a lot of barriers and hurdles to get through, but like that makes it worth it for me, because like <laughs> I will have the hardest time if I ever cannot ride this bike anymore. Like if something tragically happens to it, I. I don't think I'll be able to get over it because this bike even when I was doing the viral bike yesterday I was like I can't I can't upgrade I can't this is my bike <sighs> I mean, like pictured myself in like my 80 year old body still with this bike in my garage which is crazy I gotta say that 
these roads that are right next to, literally that's the Mississippi River <laughs> these roads that are right next to it I think they're part of the Great River Road as well they are I'm loving it I want to do the entire route and I've always wanted to but now that I've ridden chunks of it mm -hmm, it's definitely bumped up higher on my list first stop of day seven yes I'm losing track of my days I literally do not know what day of the week it is right now I'm just going off of okay I got this many days to ride in <laughs> I'll show you quickly what my stops are. So, glove comes off. Enter number. Get my loyalty check in here. I have a gas pump or a gas card only. Because if I use my credit card, I probably would get flagged for all these transactions all over the place. I'm gonna fill up a little bit more. Normally I fill up like 25 cents worth but I'm at a half a tank and I don't I think I got some space before the next one. So let's just do five bucks and call it good for right now. So I would do like 15 cents, 25 cents and then keep rolling. The hardest part is this freaking tank bag. So once the receipt is done, I'll turn back on the bike, grab my trusty Sharpie. This is day seven. I'm on like C, I believe already. Two zero one one eight for the odometer. Then I take my phone out of my quad block here. All right, bring up my timestamp app, which shows the physical location of where I'm at. And then I go into my SW tracker, pull up that, pull up that photo. Library, what am I doing here? Library, yes, okay, and then send it over. So it's routing, or it's tracking where I'm at, and then it plugs in this photo at that point in time of the trip. So it can show proof of where I'm at. And then it goes just straight in my little receipt holder for now. And then we move on to the next one. All right, let's start. We got a little bit of a ride. A little bit more of the ride on the river. And then I'm done. A little bit longer of a stop for me. Just said I walk through it with you guys. Well, that's it. We're back on the road. But you can see how that adds up quickly. So I'm looking at my averages now and it's about 50 to 55 stops a day just because like yesterday I didn't do much of anything I did 20 stops so that kind of brings down my average a bit more but 50 50 to 55 stops takes two to three minutes maybe five closer to uh, I wouldn't say 10 minutes and eh, maybe if I had to figure out riding and get food and all of that and go to the bathroom that might take up some time but around that five minute mark I would say just as a good buffer so 50 stops times five like that's how many minutes a day I'm spending trying to do this and it just takes I need to take that into consideration so get a little blip of what I do and then I just continue to ride and be in this gorgeous part of the state that oh, I'm so excited I cannot wait to come like back here and really truly explore but these are the this is the reason why I do these long distance endurance rides like people think why why do this in the first place that like you're not enjoying your time I absolutely am this is like research for me because when I did my 48 and 10 there are so many stops to, even just off the interstate that I was like I need to come back here I need to go up that way this is another spot that I need to go and check out more like that is what I love and enjoy because that gives me reference for things that I can go and then just take in those those locations like look where I'm at this is very convenient look at this my waterproof bag has been fantastic guys so thank you and we'll see you guys again soon
So this is my frustrating, most frustrating part of this trip, that my Garmin is telling me, okay, yeah, go ahead, do this. It's freaking closed. I need to get there, right there. I don't know how the frick I'm gonna get there now. Ugh. Time consuming. Well, first time I tip my bike, thank God for the crash bars, but this shit sucks. This has to be my absolute favorite store because look it. Let me introduce you to Bessie. 